Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another video for you guys. So today we have world record Rosa. Now obviously world records are very hard to come by so these videos are kind of rare but if you guys want more content there's going to be more Rosa gameplay on Jigsaw's channel so make sure you guys head over there. We're going to be doing world record Poco next video and hopefully sometime soon we can get slash that world record Jackie and we can cover that shortly. So we're going to have some gameplay for you guys. Again if you're not satisfied with all of the gameplay that you guys are going to get here check out Jigsaw's channel first link in the description but with that being said let's head into the games and let's show you guys what's up. All right, so going into the first game, we have a really good game. So we're going to go back a little bit. We did this a little bit earlier. We're going up against Czar, Crying Man, and Daddy Killer, whoever that is. I don't know. Um, but a little bit of background. The last time we lost was actually at about 1,030 cups. Now, we're about, you know, like world record, like 1370 something. So we're pretty high up right now. It's been quite a while since we lost. A couple days, actually, since we lost this comp. Uh, but we've been pushing fairly well. Now, QQ is Crying Man. Zara obviously is Zara. You know, two really good players, two pro players. Zara almost finesses us over there low-key. Um, and they have quite the counter. Max being the best brawler in the game, really good against tanks as well. And then, obviously, Colette does counter tanks. So, I have to be a little bit more aggressive as a Poco in this game. Um, now, watching Jig, you know, he's kind of just on that right side, building up as much grass as possible. Um, he's just trying to make his way up the map as me and Slash are working on that left side. Jig does a really good job of going up the right. And even though he does die over there, what he did do was take up a lot of the opponent's shots. So then we didn't score, although we didn't do too much. You know, Jig did help out a lot by wasting their shots, you know, getting to full health. So again, he's going to work up that right side where he did put all of that grouse over there so he can work up a lot easier. It's a little bit of a struggle for me and Slash to move up, but we're, you know, making our way. We're trying our best. Jigsaw is occupying Crying and their Carl right now. So Jigsaw is doing a really good job. Now the point of this comp is kind of to attack at the same time and kind of just to go for that team wipe. So you're not going to see Jig just, you know, walking around winning lane. You're not going to see Slash just randomly winning lane. We're doing it as a team, as a unit. So Slash is going to go for a play over there. I'm going to heal him so he can stay alive. He's going to stay up. I'm going to give him the ball. Jig's going to work up the left side. You guys notice we never cluster one side so we can get as much damage as possible. We can get as much stuff going as possible. We always like to attack from each side so it takes up as much you know, like, a Carl can't do piercing damage and hurt us if we're on opposite sides. We can't let him get too much value. The point of this comp is that we have so much HP, we have so much health, that he just can't do anything about it, and we're able to get those kills, and they just don't have the enough shots to kill us. Unfortunately, we're both going to go down. Slash is going to go for a play over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. I personally wouldn't have went for it, but it's whatever. 30 seconds left. Obviously, their comp is a lot better in overtime, so... We really want to get something going here. Instead of helping Slash, I decided to help out Jigsaw over here with the heals. Although I did give them both heals. I want to stay on Jigsaw's lane this time. Crying's going to clear that ball out. Jig's going to pop super. And if he pops super and I'm healing him, there's like no way anyone takes him out. Now, unfortunately, we're about to get into overtime. Jig's taking his time getting back to full HP. Um, but overtime obviously is a lot better for them. So I'm healing both of my teammates while doing damage to both of them. Uh, by, to both of the opponents at the same time. I'm able to get a kill over there. QQ is one shot. He's going to go for the play on Jigsaw. Unfortunately, nothing is going to happen with that because he's using the shield star power, not the first one that pushes Jigsaw back. And because of that, we're going to be able to sneak out a win. Now, this game was obviously a long time ago. You guys can see the cups. Most of the good games were a little bit ago. So we're going to show you games more at the back end of the replays where, you know, it's kind of lower down in cups. But let's hop into the next game. A lot of games are 30 seconds. We don't want to show you guys those games. So let's hop into the next one. Let's keep going. Okay, so going into the next game, this is kind of how most games have gone. So obviously it's like 10 minute MM. And we don't like to show you guys these games too often, but I decided, you know, we can show you guys one of them just to show you how it goes. So most games kind of just are, you know, games like this where we're facing comps, you know, some comps might hard counter us, but some comps, you know, also don't extremely hard counter us. Um, and we get comps like this where it's just going to be us versus them. You know, we're both playing double tank. I feel like we probably have a better understanding of how to play this type of comp properly. Um, so a lot of the games just end up going like this where there's just a lot going on. Um, but the games do end rather quickly. So you guys are going to see Jigs taking on a Frank. That should never be possible. He gets the ball. He puts it in the net. Most of our games are kind of like this. Just two O's in about 30 to 45 seconds. And we don't like showing you guys those games. We like showing you guys the very close games that are very, very tight. 
show you guys how we win against counters and teach you guys kind of how to play the comp properly even when you face something that's not easy to beat so we're gonna hop over into more of those games but just wanted to show you a quick game of how most games do go so you guys get a little bit of an understanding for the push so let's hop on to the next game the next game is also a really tough one so let's show you guys what happened now going into the next game now this is a really weird type of comp you don't see this a lot on ladder they have a nita now nita is actually pretty good against our comp because of stun bear only if they have stun bear is nita good because it takes four shots from jackie and quite a few shots from rosa and then obviously um, the Gene Shelly is meant to extremely hard counter us. It's a very big counter for us. Is that Gene Shelly combination? Because Gene obviously just pulls into the Shelly. Shelly just has her normal shot or her super and completely destroys us. So it's a little bit of a challenge for us, but we're trying to figure it out. Um, playing decently so far. We've kept them back in their spawn for the entirety of the game. We're only 30 seconds in. Um, so things are looking pretty good. Slash is going to pick up the ball and get like a really quick super shot, like a kind of unsuspecting super shot. So that's going to be a really good goal over there by Slash. And, you know, things are looking good. Their Jean's going to pull Jig. And every time their Jean hits a pull, they're going to end up getting a kill because the Shelly is just going to camp right beside that Jean like you guys continuously see. I went up to try and make kind of like a heroic goal type of thing, just trying to get the game over with rather than working with the team and slowly chipping it down. It didn't work out, and that's kind of costly because I, although I'm the Poco and I don't have any DPS, I'm probably the most important on the team. I have to stay up, I have to heal, I have to keep other people back, try and get good value out of all of my shots. So me wasting my super actually wasn't the best idea in the world, but it happened anyways. Uh, I'm trying to go for something. So, so we're going to defend uh, pretty well. You know, we're up and down at this point. We're not all alive at the same time for the last like 45 seconds we're kind of scrambled but we're able to do good i'm going to heal slash as he's going in over there he's going to be able to get a kill over there on the nita also getting the nita bear pretty low they're going to get an interesting pull on slash over there i don't know if i would have went that for that pull i probably would have went for jigsaw because the ball wasn't really that close um i'm going to get pulled but nothing's really going to happen because they're like grouping up and it's not the shelly so i'm not getting taken out too quickly so i'm kind of just gaining my super back they kind of wasted their pull but then they got it back and pulled Jigsaw. So not much happened over there. And again, I'm just chilling. Um, I'm trying to get as much value out of stuff as possible, whether it's healing my teammates or, you know, just chipping down the enemies. Um, Jean is going to pull me. Shelly decides it doesn't want to waste super on me, which is probably a really good idea. Also, this Shelly is playing really well. Shout out to the Shelly for not just ran being a random auto aim Shelly. It's actually, you know, aiming at shots, getting good stuns off. But this is a kind of, you know, awkward defense for me. I don't want to let the Shelly heal up, but I also don't want to let the Nita walk in. So I kind of just took a little bit of shots at both. We're able to get two kills over there. Played that really well. I baited Jigsaw super over there, and I'm just going to super the ball up. You know, um, that's going to be it for that game. But that was a really, really tough game. And again, Jigsaw played it really properly, you know, just holding his lane. Same with Slash. Shoutouts to them. So let's hop into the next game and let's keep things going. So hopping into the next game, we're going to be facing AR Brock, Chicky, and a Mortis. I don't, I don't know the Mortis's name. I, I border jump, I guess. And um, again, Jigsaw is going to be holding down that right side and me and Slash are going to go on the left. Slash is going to go down, but Jigsaw plays it really well so that he pushes Chicky back. But he also is able to get the ball and kind of win lane. And that kind of just like weirdness of how the game started kind of just like threw it for them. Because even though the Frank was beating Slash... There is nothing that they can do just because of purely just based off of Jigsaw's position. And then Slash is just going to get the ball, you know, run up and super it into the net. I know you guys didn't want to see a 30 second game. And I know I don't really show the 30 second games, but I don't know. There was just something about this game that made me really want to show it. But anyways, we're going to move on to our final game. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys one more a really good game. Now, this is going to be a really good game to show you guys. It was a little bit longer. It might have even been last night. Um, and it's at the very end of our replays, but we're facing basically a triple counter So I'm gonna show you guys how to beat a triple counter So you guys see we gave the heals to slash slash is gonna go up We got lucky that he got that kill over there. He should have went down and I'm just gonna work the ball in the middle You guys can see they're clumped up because of the way my our team is going together You guys see slash is coming from the top right jig is coming from the top left and I'm right in the middle and because of that, they just can't do pierce damage. The Tara can't hurt two people at once. The Carl can't hurt two people at once. The Spike Super can't. And we're able to just stay alive and do a ton of damage. And even if they do kill us, it takes all of their shots. So they don't have shots to kill the next. I'm going to try going for a play over here. And obviously, it's not going to work out. Jigsaw goes down. But again, they have a perfect counter comp. But because of the value, because of our positioning, things are going really easy and really well for us. Now, again, you know, they're just trying to figure out what sides to go on. It's very important, as I say every time I play Poco, to use your gadget on multiple people, not just yourself. I'm going to be healing Slash. Never just hold three shots. If you have three shots, always just heal one of your teammates if you can't hit anyone else. 
I noticed both my teammates are low, but I'm trying to get maximum value. Well, not low, but like mid HP, but I'm trying to get maximum value out of my heal and heal both at the same time. Slash is going to get pulled and they're finally, you know, grouped up together enough to where I can get a double super. And that's basically it. Once you get that good value in, that's going to cost them the game. We're just going to put the ball up. You know, stuff's going to go down, but eventually Jigsaw is just going to pick up that ball and put it in the net. And that is going to be it. Now, I know this game was a while ago, as you can see by the trophies, but it was a really good game against literally three counters. So I thought we could show you guys. But anyways, that's going to be it for this game. So anyways, it's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is world record Rosa gameplay. Really good gameplay. Basically the top notch of what you can see from Rosa. There's going to be more on Jigsaw's channel. Link is going to be in the description below. So make sure you guys go check that out. There's going to be Rosa gameplay over there and other really good gameplay. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.